Hey guys, welcome back to Nier Automata. The last time that I played this, I mean, it was, it's more than been a minute. It has been a while since I've played this game, to be honest. So I'm gonna have to like, re-remember some of the controls just a little bit, get back into it. But I do remember the last time we left off, things got really intense, that the story has picked up a lot, and I'm, I'm just, I'm really nervous, you know, like, so we had A2 and we had 9S kind of finally come together for the first time since he saw A2 kill 2B. So, did I say, I think I said the names right. My brain, I mean, I think so. Yeah, I did. But yeah, so that was the first time that he's seen her, so that was kind of, you know, a tense moment, but they ended up kind of not fighting, even though I think it was going to turn into one. And uh, 9S basically had to kill 210, which was really, really sad. So she, she ended up getting that virus that has basically, you know, been going around with all the androids. And um, so, what was he saying? Hmm. Yeah, but during the whole scene, it was, it's kind of tragic because she's saying that she just wanted a family, she just wanted to be with 9S, and he had to kill her, kind of like put her to sleep. And it's a, kind of, in a weird way, it's like, I mean, that's what A2 did, but he doesn't know that that's what she did, so... I don't know. I've heard that this might be the last episode, which I, I, makes me even more nervous because I know that the story must really, like, come to its peak. Um, and then, so this will be the end of playthrough C, and then I've been told to do D and E, and that they're really quick, so we're gonna do that. Um, let's just get into it, guys. By the way, Luca's chewing his toy out in the hallway. The latex sounding one, so if you, <laughs> if you end up hearing, like, weird squeaking sounds, that's him. That's him doing that. I don't want to yell at him, though, because he's happy. He just ate. He's happy, doggo. Alright, alright. It's time to go to this tower. It's time to go to this tower. Leave me alone. I want nothing to do with you. What's gonna be down here? Report. Nail notification received from access point. From access point? What? Do Body? What do you mean? Well, now I want to look at this mail. No! Why do I look at the mail? Oh, screw it. Let me in! We apologize for the inconvenience. But locks on each subunit must be deactivated before accessing the main tower. Uh oh. Have a great day. These? I'm assuming it's these. Whoa. Oh. Just like that? I thought there would have been like it would have been more extreme. Oh yeah, yeah, no, this makes sense because. Okay. <laughs> what now? Hello, and thank you for using Tower System Services. We apologize for the inconvenience. But locks on each subunit must be deactivated before accessing the main tower. Oh, I had to do more? Oh, gotcha. Oh no. Oh no, I forgot. Okay, that's one. Cool. I was about to say, that seemed really easy, just pressing triangle. 
Where am I going now? Oh, I'm just up here. Who's? Oh, I need to move the camera. Give me a second, guys. Okay, so then... Alert. Allied signal detected. Allies? What? Oh. oh. Wait, you? 9S, we've what? been expecting you. What do you mean? <clears throat> the two of us will take things from here. <laughs> you need to open the door to the tower. Yeah, that's cool. Did you do that for me? No. No. What? I mean, whatever. All right, now this. Remember your promise. What are you talking about? Come on, my ass. Hack in while you can. None of this makes any sense. We'll explain everything once we're inside. Yeah, <laughs> what promise? Oh, look at him go. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Uh, can they die? I wonder if they can die. It's just really loud right now. I'm trying not to scream. I think I need to turn it down though. Come on. Uh, We've got this, 9S. You just focus on hacking. Yes. Fuck off. Fuck. This one's gonna be hard. Oh, interesting. It doesn't. It doesn't redo really that. Okay. Let me through. Oh no. Oh no, what? What? What's this barrier? Analysis. It is part of a closed defensive system. Well, how do I break it down? Hypothesis. Uh oh. 
Unit 9S could permit his self-consciousness data to lose control. The resulting energy surge has an acceptable probability of temporarily paralyzing the barrier. That's almost as bad as not going in at all! What? Temporarily losing control? What happened? It's the barrier. Popola! No, no, don't! You can't do anything! The wall's got a so Enough. closing algorithm! Enough! Devil and I, we have to atone for our sins no matter what! But if you My do eyes. that, your circuits will... She's sacrificing herself. Right. No! Devila! I hope you Aww. don't regret this. Don't regret this? What? What? Don't regret this? Why'd she say that? Why'd she say that? What are we doing? What are we doing, you guys? I need to turn the volume down, though. Because this is... Wow, that's really loud. <laughs> Pod 153, alert. Data records discovered for units Devla and Papala. Do you wish to open this data now? Yes. Open it now. We want to see, like, I know that they've known us. Dot, dot, dot. A dusty wind kisses my cheeks. Buried in sand, we press forward one step at a time. We have nowhere else to go after all. Because our models, the Devla and Papala models, are defective. Record transitions in the project's initial phase. PlayStation, can you not be so loud? Yeah, like you can hear it really bad. Relax. Um, when first we woke, there were still people. They had flesh, egos, emotions, souls, and they issued us a single order, function as observers of Project Gestalt. This is the sole mission of the twin Devila and Papala models. It's Papala, right? It is the only reason we exist at all. We were the latest model, though many companions shared our appearance. There was a sparkle in all of our eyes, a sense of pride at having been entrusted with humanity's future. And yes, there was anxiety as well. When we existed as a pair, we shared Destiny's burden as a pair, and because of that, all hesitation was swept away. Each pair was given their own cities as observation areas. A pair, okay. We were ordered to guide the replicants with our own hands, all for the sake of the promised time that would one day arrive. We were the only ones who could handle such a duty. We were observers, after all. Ah, watch out. Devla staggers and falls in the soft yet unforgiving sand. I hurry to her side and sigh with relief when I find she's not seriously hurt. Are you alright? Sorry, sis. Guess I spaced out there for a bit. She smiles, the same wry smile I know so well, as she rubs absently at her leg. It is wrapped in a white bandage. Your bandage is coming undone. Here, let me change it. It's alright, Papala. Come on, we have to go before we lose light. We won't be going anywhere if Stan gets into that thing. Now quit whining and hold still. I'll be quick. Devla grunts and turns away. I take it as consent. Soon we are resting in the shade of a nearby rock as I pull the bandage free. Artificial skin, torn and bloody, peeks out from beneath the bandage. Judging by Devla's current lack of ambulatory control, I imagine the circuitry underneath has been damaged as well. Taking a deep breath, I... Check the circuitry to see if it can be repaired. Replace the bandage and hope for the best. Oh. Oh, I make a choice? Whoa. Um, I know it has been damaged as well. Uh, check the circuitry, see if it can be repaired. Replace the bandage and hope for the best. Check it. I would check it. As expected, wiring in the nerve circuitry has been damaged. Replacing it will require new connectors as well as some tools. None of which is easy to find in the desert. Sorry about this, sis, mutters Devila. The wry smile again. It kills me every time. Don't you dare apologize, I respond. You've done nothing wrong. 
I calmly change the bandage, trying not to let my worry show. I take it as tight, or I make it as tight as possible so no sand can slip inside. It's all I can do until I get the proper materials. But that's going to be a tall order, consisting, er, considering our current condition. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, sister. Okay, now you're you are apologizing. We both apologize while insisting the other's apology isn't necessary. It's kind of funny in a way, such a trivial exchange under such circumstances. We laugh together, the sound echoing out across the desert before being stolen by the cool evening wind. Report regarding the increase in relapses. There has to be some way to prevent relapses. Devla's sharp voice echoes through our private quarters. You must be quiet, sister. The replicants will hear. Pfft. They wouldn't understand even if they did. That might be true, but regardless. Annoyed at my hesitation, Devla crosses her legs and scowls. The black scrawl took another victim, she says. That's three this month. It's spreading way too fast. Let's wait and see what happens. I'm tired of hearing you say that. Her shout makes me jump, just a little, but enough for her to notice. Seeing that, her eyes suddenly open wide. I'm sorry, sis. It's not your fault. I shouldn't have lashed out like that. It's okay. I understand. It's all going wrong. You can feel it too, right? I... When I was first assigned to Project Gestalt, I was over the moon with pride. But now my chest hurts just to think about it, if it were to fail. Before we knew it, the replicants had gained a sense of self, and the black scrawl started raging out of control. So the replicants are the machines? It moved fast, so fast, like a wind. Papala and I would go to the observation room and act like it was all okay. We talked to the replicants as if we didn't have a care in the world. No, that's not. That's not. What? But at night, we just hold each other and share the horror of it all. As if we didn't have a care in the world. I'm glad you were with me, murmurs Papala. I couldn't have handled being an observer all alone. Um, we were able to endure because we had each other, I reply softly. Did it just switch perspectives? Do the humans see this coming? Is that why they made a twin model? Were they really so clever? Were they really so cruel? I couldn't have done this by myself. I would have descended into madness. I simply couldn't bear such a burden all along. When I get the chance, I'm going to try contacting another city, she says. Maybe these abnormalities are a localized phenomenon. I pray that's the case, I reply. Even if we're of no use ourselves, things will still work out if the other observers can pull through. Don't worry, it's going to be okay. But it wasn't okay. Nothing was okay. All thanks to a pair of Devla and Papala models from another town. Oh? The wind rubs my cheeks. The sand grazes my skin. It's grown cold out here. We walk with renewed purpose, hoping to make up for a lost time. Devla loses her balance every now and then. It gets bad after a while. I slip myself under her arm so she won't fall again, and we press on. Is your leg all right? Well, I doubt I'll be dancing anytime soon, but yeah, it's fine. She smiles. Oh, shit! <laughs> I didn't mean to press X. I'm sorry, guys. I remember when our resistance allies injured her leg. At least you guys can go back and pause it and read that, but I can't read that. I was furious, beyond fury. I wanted to scream and cry and lose myself in it, but then she smiled and all of that rage just drifted away. To think we have the same face, yet such different smiles. One day I realized how she reminded me of the... I never know how to pronounce that, martyrs? I'd seen in old records. That was the day we decided to leave our town forever. Record of Project Gestalt's end. Our role as observers ended on the day Project Gestalt collapsed, all due to the actions of Devla and Papala models from another town. With the original Gestalt lost, humanity was doomed to an inevitable extinction. Knowing this, we gathered what remaining replicant data we could find and launched it to the surface of the moon. So replicants were humans? Or, like, just replications of humans. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm missing something. 
And though success was as unlikely as finding a lost sand grain in the desert, we still had to attempt it. We still had to try. We were androids, you see. Project er, protecting humanity was our instinct. Other androids, beholden to that same instinct, began to direct their hate at the devil and popular models who'd snuffed out humanity. It started small, a few offhand remarks, the occasional glance, but even the smallest things have weight, and with enough of them combined, that weight eventually becomes a boulder. Emotions boiled over, remarks became jeers. Jeers? Yeah, and soon enough, my sister and I were the perfect tar target for persecution. So it was them? At first, we simply accepted the fact that our friends turned on us. It was almost unavoidable, I suppose. We were observers for Project Guest Doll, after all. And while we didn't cause it to fail, the people who did, okay. While well, they looked just like us. So we accepted it. We took the resentment and scorn we endured. It's as crazy as it sounds, I think we actually felt responsible. We moved from town to town in an effort to avoid persecution. But in what such town, my seemingly infinite patience finally broke. My sister Devlin met with unprovoked violence at the hands of a resistance member. She said something in response to his taunts, something quiet. And though her words were ambiguous, he slashed her leg nearly in two. Oh. My vision narrowed, everything went red, and then she smiled at me. It's okay, sis, there's nothing we can do. But it was too late. My emotions were no longer in my control. I'm simply not strong enough to stand aside and let the most important person in the world come to harm. Devla and I left town that same day. Violence like that wouldn't stop. It was going to happen again. And it wouldn't be coming from just one person. So rather than let them kill us, we ran. I guess it was the greatest resistance I could muster. We lose the sun as dark clouds gather overhead. We continue our march. A cold wind blasts us, stealing what little body heat we have left. I smell rain in the air. We continue our march. Sometimes we hear animals howling in the distance. It makes us flinch every time. But we continue our march, because even this is better than suffering in the hands of our fellow androids. Why must we suffer this persecution? I know we're the same model as the androids who doomed humanity, so I understand that part. At least a little, anyway. But at the same time, we're not them. We're not the same. We are who we are, and that Devla and Papla were who they were. That's how I felt when I saw Devla being hurt. I wanted to shout at everyone. I wanted to scream. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one Devla. And for her, there's only me. <laughs> no one can take the other's place. Rain falls from the sky. It sim or stimulates our sensation nerves like cold needles. We need maintenance badly, but that's a pipe dream, I suppose. No android would dare help a pair of outcasts like us. Are you cold, Devla? I'm alright, as long as you're with me, sis. I feel the same. We press our bodies together to try and retain heat. It's cold now, much worse than the searing heat of midday. But we just smile at each other and keep pressing on. There's another camp on the other side of the desert, a new camp. If we can just get there, I can finally fix Devla's leg. And yet I wonder if there's anywhere on this planet that will, that will take us. Hey, what's wrong? It's nothing, don't worry about it. I do what I can to suppress the anxiety in my chest and keep walking. The rain grows worse, it lashes at us without pause. Is this our punishment? I reach out and touch Devla's cheek, support Devla's body. Hmm. Oh, I want to touch her cheek. So, we're going to touch her cheek. The rain flows down her cheeks like tears. I reach over and gently wipe it away. She smiles but seems surprised. There's no point in doing that, you know, she whispers. But there is. Because I swore to myself that I would stay with her forever. For that is the fate we twin androids have been assigned. Well, that was emotional. Aww. The failure to manage the area resulted in the collapse of the Gestalt system, which led to the decimation of the human race. 
Due to the discovery of its instability, the twin system was removed from future Android production designs. Following the incident, the Devil and Poplar models were not dismantled. However, in order to prevent further unexpected behavior, they underwent a memory wipe. Furthermore, they were reprogrammed to generate constant feelings of guilt. Oh, what? That's fucked up. That is all that remains from their personal record during the era in which they were referred to as administrators. I see. Query. Why do the androids Devola and Popola seem to prefer death over surviving alone? There was a very high probability that at least one could I... have escaped. I hope you never have to understand. Affirmative. Uh... Query. Why does this tower possess an entrance at all? All material transport takes place via aerial vehicles. It is irrational for an infiltration route to be so easily accessible. Hypothesis. Entrance is a trap. I don't care. I just have to kill them all. Yeah, he's talking about, you know, to be... I mean, it, it clearly hurts him that 2B's gone, so... Corrupted Yorha units! Yep. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe I can hack her. What's it looking like? Oh my god. I forgot how to play for a second there. Fuck, I need to get through. Ooh. Lock onto her. There we go. Um, let's go get this stuff. game really for whatever the hell that person kid thing is it's like it's all just a game but I wonder why they said I hope you don't regret this that to me is weird what did I just do did I just do that bye <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. At least I don't remember. Okay. Ooh, oh. Two B models. Oh. It's pretty sick. <laughs> I'm glad I got to see you here. I truly am. I'll tear you apart. Every last one of you! Ooh, that is a scary face. That is a scary face. Wow. Um, let's go ahead and okay, show go. Shit. 
To me! To me! Oh, Don't missed. worry! I'm going to kill you now! Aww. Why? Can you? I'm getting my ass wet. No. Because I can't see anything. Here, hold on. Here we go. Lock on. There's another one. like a, a test or something? I don't even know. Like the fact that all these 2Bs are here and it really is kind of directed at him. Which is interesting. Okay. I'm, yeah, they're with my butts, but my butts, like 9S has two butts. What the hell did I just say? He's detected. Still a few More? stragglers, huh? What? Where? Over here? Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, she sounded different. Uh oh. Run! <laughs> Great. That's not good. Are we switching? I feel like we're switching to A2 or something. We haven't seen her in a while. A2 the best. Alert. The structure known yes. as the tower has opened its gate. Yes. Let's check it out. Um... So, I've been told I need to go talk to an Anemone first before I really should do anything else. I should try to talk to her. We don't have time for this, unfortunately. I'll have to look that stuff up later. Yeah, that, that's gonna take me too long. Um, I might, what I probably would do is just look the information up online after after the game is done and stuff, because I'm gonna have to anyways. Like, I really don't know what's going on. And I hope that I will get some of the gist of it when the game is finished, but I know I've heard, you know, like you really gotta look into it. You know, you miss a lot of little things when this game is done, so. I will read up on that when, when I can. Let me in. Work. She's so dirty. Girl, you're so dirty. Your butt's really shiny, though. I mean, that's a shiny butt. So is there gonna be enemies here for me, or, or did he kill all of them? Because we're always, like, a couple steps behind 9S. This is a Yorha corpse. Hypothesis. The corpse is likely a result of Yorha Unit 9S's advance through the area. Okay. Let's go. My back has been killing me lately. I edited a lot of videos and stuff, so... That's why I'm fidgeting a lot. If you're noticing that, I'm sorry. Don't mean to be distracting, it just hurts. <laughs> it just hurts. 
All right, let's go. Yeah, he is like just in here. What's the purpose of this structure? Unknown. Proposal. What happened? Gather additional oh, data. the explosion. Someday I need to teach you how to be helpful. Right? Well, this is weird. So he must have kept going. Because that door's open, so I don't know. I feel like we're going in circles. Or not. Ah, screw that. One more story. Give me the story. Give me the story. Okay. Everything's white like when um, Adam was in that one place. That he made or something. Didn't he make that? What's up with this place? Hypothesis. It is a representation of a library. What's that? A library hmm. is a data storage facility constructed by past human civilizations. Hmm. All right, let's check this out. I suppose we have to hack in to look at the data, yeah? Help oh. me out, Pod. Affirmative. Hacking okay. interface access rights granted to Yorha Unit A2. Oh, PG. really? That's not what I wanted. Shoot. Oh, there's no timer though. Damn, I gotta go. I gotta go all the way around. What is it? Library index, Adam unit storage record, Eve unit storage record, Yorha communications interception record, Yorha server record. Adam and Eve? What? Human server record, human server, human heritage, um, tower system, plant species and stuff. Why are they in there? Library. This tower are... looks like a data gathering system for the machines. My eyes twitching. This has been so strained. Oh, what is this though? I don't know. Maybe I should go up here and get this thing. No. This way. Open it. Those? I'm not really sure. How do I open this? Oh, yeah. Oops. Little boxes. There we go. Cool. Human server records outline. Um, predicted human server infiltration route. Dummy protection installation map block. Uh, browsing restricted. Wonder what that means. These records are from the human server on the moon. The machines hacked that deep into the system, huh? that deep into the system. Okay. Or it means something else. Class 1 patient Yona Test x-ray, no abnormalities, heart echo, no abnormalities, C1 continuing, chronic renal failure, convulsive seizures in the diaphragm, no vomiting, 
um, preservation plan, the patient's condition makes further treatment impossible. A report will be submitted to the management committee detailing courses of action in the event of the patient's death, focusing primarily on how that information is to be manipulated with respect to the original. As a backup, in the event of a sudden worsening in the patient's condition, she is to be assigned five additional doctors. Okay. So, like, the human race is almost more wiped out by, like, what Some records on old humans. Damn like it, this plague. is useless. There's too many of them. What's this down here, huh? though? Huh? What's that? What? What? This thing? What's what? Oh. Operational summary of model number two in Project Yorha. Her? <sighs> or A2 this or data. Or... <laughs> oh, great. Okay, cool. Oh, my God. Dude, no! This is such a tiny little area. I bet I need to go up top or something. I don't know. Oh. Hmm. Oh. It's kind of morbid. It's gonna have her arm now. Alert. Hack yourself to virus remove the virus. In locomotion region. High probability that infection source is transplanted parts from corrupted units. Proposal. How do I hack myself? Hack into self and eliminate virus. On it. Oh my god. Jesus. This is intense. Shoot. There's more? Okay. And you guys weren't kidding, like, if I didn't get a little bit better at hacking, it would have been pretty bad. Would have been bad. Cool. So are we heading to where A2 is? This looks like a totally different area, actually. Oh. Your oh my god. Unit 9S. Your what? Unit 9S. What are you? Welcome to the tower. Welcome to the tower. It's like those red... You bastards! The red because you made it this far, we have a special announcement just for you. Why? We'll reveal it once you destroy all the machine life forms here. This is a test. For something weird. He's gone. Okay. Well, that was easy peasy. Is there more? There's gonna be more for sure. Do anything. Oh, 
you got me. You got me. No. I don't want it. More? More. Yeah, it's just like it it feels like they're setting me up, you know? For for what though? Oh my god, I'm getting so weird top secret yorha disposal this is project yorha that means all of us to be now you know everything do you still wish to fight what are we all machines or something what are we we are conceptual human personalities created within the machine network. We cannot be destroyed. You're a unit 9S. Your attack is meaningless. Your existence is meaningless. What? Shut up! We can't be destroyed. Keep them coming. Oh my god. Oh my god. And this tower! How? You can't dodge that shit. Come on. 
on, come on, come on, come on, come on, die! What did I just take? I just took something. Take it. So essentially, is this something like if he did destroy everything, then it's destroying himself and like all the androids? Cause like, I don't understand. The nose. All right, well now we're thoroughly fucked. Who are they? <laughs> they? Am I doing anything? I don't really know how to kill this thing. What? What? Can- Stop! Stop it. What you swear to go? Hey, what's this though? The camera's doing some weird stuff. What's this? Are these models? Weird. This is all really weird. Where did, where did she go? Where did they go? Down here? Oh, there we go. Where is that big thing? Let's go. I won't fight you. What's this? Damn it. Alert, enemy hacking detected. Proposal. Retreat immediately. Enemy hacking. Okay. Whoa, this is cool. It's like it turned three-dimensional all of a sudden. Or like came down. Who are you? Good to see you again. Number two. Ocean recovery two. Let's go with magnet. Those concepts like us shine as Still, when you wipe out your forces, it may quite be impression on us. You're an attacker model number two. Mm -hmm. An experimental disposable group created as a test line for Project Your Heart. Shut up! Experimental disposal group? Huh. Huh. 
That's really freaky. I don't like it. We are one. You're freaking yeah, me out. We are, many. we are finite, and yet we are infinite. We are the embodiment of the perfect being. Hypothesis: The enemy has become aware of the diversity of life. Ah, uh, I see it. The light. We move on forward. To the future. What is Consciousness happening? data saturation rate, 100%. Okay, now can Hypothesis. I fight? What can I do? The enemy's consciousness has begun to fracture. Yeah? I mean, I think we I wasn't supposed to hit them. evolutionary pressure. If we allow this android to continue living, we can create even more hardship for ourselves. Overcoming the crisis this creates will present an opportunity for our kind to evolve even further. We disagree. This android is dangerous. It must be destroyed immediately. Those who would doubt our victory are enemies. Do you truly think you can win? Oh, it's finding itself. What the? Analysis. The saturated consciousnesses are now in conflict with each other. <laughs> That's crazy. They're I acting just, like humans. Yeah, it goes to show you that even though they're the same, like we're all the same, we still find some reason to fight each other. And they're just doing the same shit. Wow. Weird. What are you doing? 
you're not even hitting the right person. So who won? You're not hitting anything. I just thought I'd let you know. You guys are actually like really far away from each other, so I'm gonna just kill you. No, it no, it has to be them. Hurry up and kill each other. Right? Or no, I can too, I think. Finally. It just looked ridiculous for a second. Stop it. What? I actually might not be able to do D and E today, you guys. I thought that um, this would be the last episode. It might not be. I don't think so. Ooh. Ooh! Ooh, don't get off of it! No, 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 no. Oh, there it is again. Is this thing seriously still kicking? Speculation. It is driven by remaining data located within enemy servers. So this just keeps going until I kill them all? We Good that time. And that time. Oh, what? I thought it was up high enough. I just 
died. I just fucking blew up. <laughs> it's been a long time since I died. I was just trying to concentrate on like what he was saying or it was saying. I believed you. And then become a god again. I don't know. Maybe it's just like everything in that network. Oh. Nuh uh. No, are you for real? Are you for real? Oh my god. I can't believe I have to do that again. Oh. Okay, we're back at this point again where I gotta be a little bit more careful. And I cannot die. Because otherwise I have to redo a bunch of stuff. Like a bunch and bunch of stuff, so. Don't wanna do that. But this one is hard. I'ma hack it. I believed you. I Oh my god. I don't know if I should hack it. Become a god. Become a god. Become a god. Can I log on to you? Become. I mean, I can't. I can't get over there. I'm scared. Can I try it now? There's so much going on, like. That hacking is absolutely insane. Yeah, I'm shooting at nothing. Am I even doing anything to you? Oh, it's only the front, yeah. best. If I can't, but I can't. I can only hit the back of it with... This is difficult. Yeah, like that didn't do anything. It's the back of it. That was close. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, so yeah, hacking. Hacking with him. Concentrating really hard on this, actually. You kind of get in like this trance almost. So I'm gonna get my ass whooped.
they're just endless, endless waves of machines. Oh, I'm shooting at nothing, I just realized that. like not using the gun because it's a little less chaotic but all right so you This one's not gonna work. No way. Yep. I went right into it. And now I'm gonna get hit. Yeah, please hack. Oh, it was precious. No, it turns too fast. Getting frustrated. Like, look at this. This is fucking camp. How does. How? How? How do you get through that? Yeah, it's for you. More? No more. What's all this junk? Speculation. It is a resource of some kind. Used to make what? Unknown. Huh. Well, it looks like machines. She's such a badass, isn't she? She's such a badass. I guess we'll try to hack again. Oh no. Oh my god. What do 
we do? That's it? Nothing's gonna happen? Oh, okay. Did they go in turns or something? There we go. Oh, I see him back there. Oh, I see him back there. Yep. Yep. I knew it. Can I get you? Yeah. Okay, cool. God damn it. Come on. There we go. Oh my god, they just come right back. What? Are you gonna come down here? Come on, then. Oh god damn it. No! No, 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 no. Why do you keep coming back? This is just endless waves of everything. <laughs> Please die. Whoa! Maybe I should be... Should I be trying to get you? How did I get hit by that? I mean, like, I know, I see the damage points and shit, but I think I'm, like, not doing that much damage, really. Oh! 
that scared me. I thought I died for some reason. I get so, like, engrossed in it. I really have no idea what's happening. It's trying to stop us from doing something. And there are two different machines. What did she just do? Stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. This is crazy! <laughs> I don't know! Oh, you're back, huh? to be patient. being dead. Yes. We're like right there. You don't even have a health bar. For some reason. Oh 
Oh no! <laughs> no, don't do it, 9S, please. like that Please. 
Yes! Please. Please. Don't fight each other. Don't. This tower is a giant cannon that's aimed at the human server on the moon. If we don't do something, all of humanity's remaining data will be destroyed. <laughs> so what? None of it matters. Or didn't you know? We aren't required in this world anymore. Humanity is extinct. That moon server you're so worried about was invented to give us androids something to fight for. And Yorha was created to perpetuate the lie. But in order to make sure no one ever learned the truth, we were designed to be killed. They built a back door in the bunker and programmed it to activate after a certain amount of time. The commander... Wow. Me? To be... Sacrificial lambs. All of us. Isn't wow. that hilarious? Doesn't it make you laugh? Ninus. Oh, totally we... Shut up! You killed 2B. That's all we need to kill each other. No. 2B hated to keep killing you. It caused her so much pain. <laughs> the 9S type is a high-end model. They knew you'd discover the truth eventually. But the model designation 2B was just a cover. What? The official designation is 2E. Number 2 Type E. They were a special class of members designed to execute Yorha units. But you knew that, right, Ninas? Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> wow. What do you know? You don't know anything at all about us! Proposal. Cease combat. Fighting her at this point would be Pod irrational. Pod 153. And... I order you to halt all logical thought and speech. This no. order shall remain in effect until you confirm the death of either myself or Unit A2. Please make your choice. I'm gonna choose A2. I'm gonna choose A2, no matter what. I'm sorry. That's not even... Are you sure? Don't, don't do it irrationally. He's gone. He's so far gone. And I love A2. Yes. Understood. Wow. I don't wanna kill him though. Oh my god, he's he's a force. Oh, oh! You gonna hack me, son? What the fuck? Destroy your unit nine S. Wow. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. How to do this? Like, how do I do this? Oh. That fucked me up. He's, he's pulling some scandalous shit. Take your medicine. What is he doing to me? <laughs> Linus, please. Jesus. Alright, let's chill out for a second. I kind of want to fight him without using the gun because it's just a little bit more fun. He's fucking my shit up. There he goes again. 
No! Right ass, you're gonna die. It didn't have to be this way. Hot! Hack it! Acknowledge. Okay, we hacked him. What is going on? <laughs> I'm freaking out. Okay. Okay. Pod, we're going to repair 9S's logic circuits. Acknowledged. Please? Yes. Yes, please. Tell me where to find the virus corrupting 9S. Can I jump? Affirmative. Your high unit A2. Core data for 9S is stored ahead. Alert. Severe virus corruption. Probability of successful deletion extremely low. I think I know a way. The idea under consideration is not recommended. This pod is a Yorha tactical support unit. As such, it cannot approve of actions that would damage its supported unit. <laughs> You're not so bad, pod. You know that? Hmm. Whoa, this is crazy. This is insane. Where am I supposed to go? What? Am I just over here? Oh my gosh. Reminds me of like the stairway to heaven or something. It's so uh... I'll take care of everything. Pod. Take care of Ninas. She dies, I swear. I'm gonna be so upset. I'm gonna be so upset. I'm sorry. why D and E probably exist then. Oh, she can't be dead, you guys. Beast sword. Chapter select can now be six or accessed from the tile screen and access points. So what would have happened if the debug menu can now be assessed by pressing R2 and what? Activating the debug menu will disable all save functionality to load any save. Okay. So what happens if you choose the strange resistance woman has a new topic to talk about? Save? Yes. 
What happens if um, you choose 9S? Oh my god, I'm so hyper right now, holy shit! Alright guys, so I'm gonna make this brief because it's basically just a connection between the first um, endings that I played. I, th I, th I just finished playthrough C. Oh god, I'm so hyper. I'm so hyper. I'm stumbling over my words. But yes, I just finished playthrough C. The last time that I did end up playing, um, I took a break because it was basically like two hours of filming. This is gonna be the longest episode ever, but I'm just gonna connect um, E or D and E because I want to do those. I've heard that those are really important. I'm kind of glad that I broke it up to be honest because by the end of playthrough C, I was so hangry, you guys. I was so hangry at the end of that. I needed food so bad, so bad. So not only that, but I got like a couple days to think about what just happened to like have it roll around in my brain a little bit and I want to play the rest of it before we go ahead and talk about the game as a whole, what I thought of it, what I think of the ending, all that good stuff. So let's just get into it, guys. Again. Let's get into it again. Alright, so I don't know if this is just gonna start with the next one, um, or what is really gonna happen. Sometimes this music makes me think of Resident Evil 7. Like the menu music. Load this save file. Yes. I'm really nervous. At the- okay, okay, we'll just go. We'll just go. I don't need to explain anything, it's the same episode you already remember. Okay, so this is where I'm supposed to be at. I totally messed up. This is what I'm supposed to do. I need to choose 9S. Begin 9S and A2, yes. Because last time I chose A2, and first of all, I would always choose A2, to be honest, because I love her. It makes me sad, though, that she ended up- you know, she ended up dying in the end, if you do choose her. I really wanted her to live, but um, we'll see what happens. I don't really know. I don't really know. I bet she's gonna whoop my fucking ass. I bet she's gonna whoop my butt. Look at her. She's great. This tower is a giant cannon that's aimed at the human server on the moon. If we don't do something, all of humanity's remaining data will be destroyed. <laughs> so what? We know all this. It matters. Or didn't you know? We aren't required in this world anymore. Humanity is extinct. Yep. That moon server you're so worried about was invented to give us an- And Yorha was created to perpetuate the lie. Mm -hmm. But in order to make sure no one ever learned the truth, we were designed to be killed. They built a back door in the bunker and programmed it to activate after a certain amount of time. The commander? Me? Sacrificial lambs. She's kind like, of like, what's the point of it? Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> Doesn't it make you laugh? No bad for him. We Shut up! You killed 2B. That's all we need to kill each other. To <laughs> be hated to keep killing you. It caused her so much pain. <laughs> the 9S type is a high-end model. They knew you just but the model designation 2B was just a cover. Yeah, she's 2E. The official designation is 2E, number 2 type E. They were a special She's class of members different. designed to execute Yorha units. Aww. But you knew that, right, Ninas? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> what do you know? You don't know anything at all about us! Proposal. Cease combat. Fighting her at this point would be Pod irrational. Pod 153. And... I order you to halt all logical thought and speech. This order shall remain in effect until you confirm the death of either myself or Unit A2. Yep. Sad. So be it. <laughs> but this time I play as him. Please make your choice. Well, you know I would always go with A2, but... 9S, are you sure? I'm sure. Understood. Oh my god, I'm nervous. What is this? What? It doesn't matter. None of this matters! Oh, this fight is weird. What if it doesn't matter? It's like when Why we do first I met the her. Humans like this? Why do I... Oh, do you hear him? What is this? Why does this seem so weird? 
I'm shooting all the wrong stuff. Fuck. Yeah, I knew it. It's how we were made. Androids were designed to protect their human masters. I can't get out Our of it. Core programming demands that we shut up. Shut no, up. come shut here. Up. Shut up. Shit. You know what? Damn it! I want to listen to them talk. I don't want to hack though. Why does this look like it spells something? Doesn't it? It looks odd. I'm accidentally shooting it. Okay, cool. How much does that take away? Oh, a big amount. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, that's why I'm I'm, I'm fucking pressing the wrong button, dude. No. Don't kill me, you guys. Don't kill me. Where'd she go? This is weird. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god, just go. This is insane. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. That was totally not. How are we supposed to do it? Hacker! Alright, so this time, nice and slow. Nice and slow. Fuck. Shit. If I get hit one more time, I'm, I'm done. Okay. Fuck! It was so close, you guys. I was so close. No. Take that. Shit. What'd she do to me? God damn. You! Stop moving! Impossibly hard. <laughs> this is impossibly hard. <coughs> what? Okay. Oh. Take care of nine S. Two P. Oh she she got him too though. What? Well, she died instantly and he is
I don't like that ending. That was really sad. Fatal system error detected. Memory leak verified. Repair impossible. Beginning emergency evacuation of remaining memory. I'm... My name is... My name is 9S. A newly manufactured scanner model. January 30th, 1194 Rolled out at 425 AM bunker time. I will fight for humanity with all my strength. The pleasure is mine, Commander. I lie collapsed in a space of blinding white. The pain is gone. The light envelops me. It's so warm. I was anxious, a soldier from the moment I was born thrown into the world alone. Nothing to rely on, no god to believe in. I was alone. Tasked with infiltrating enemy territory to gather intelligence, in the fog, in the flames, alone. My name's 9S, I'm here to provide support. Tubi came off as being rather aloof, cold even. She must have wanted to distance herself from me. I guess she didn't want to be attached to someone she had to kill again and again and again. But I... Scanners like me mostly work alone, scouting out enemy lines and all that. So he knew? I don't usually get a partner, it's kind of fun. I was so happy to be with someone. It was like I had a family. My damage worsens, I start to lose my memories. The space fills up with pure white light. It's like being buried in snow. It's a little bit cold. It's a little bit frightening. Will my soul disappear? A dark fog clouds my vision. As it ebbs and flows in it, its slow dreamlike way, it gradually takes human shape. It's the red girl. She slowly begins to speak. This tower is a colossal cannon built to destroy the human server. Destroy the server and rob the androids of their very foundation. That was the plan devised by those girls. But they changed their mind. They saw us androids, they saw Adam and Eve, they saw how we lived, considered the meaning of existence, and came to a different conclusion. This tower doesn't fire artillery, it fires an arc. An arc containing memories of the foolish machine life forms. An arc that sends those memories to a new world. Perhaps they'll never reach that world. Perhaps they'll simply wander an empty sky for eternity. It's all the same to the girls, for them, time is without end. Adam and Eve are inside the Ark. Eve is asleep. Adam holds him in a gentle embrace. He seems to be smiling at me. I try to look up at him, but my body refuses to move. Looks like the damage has spread to my motor functions as well. My look is fading. Will you come with us? asks Adam. The question was completely free of malice. It seemed I no longer had a reason to hate machines. Maybe I never had a reason in the first place. So he's, you know, kind of coming to this conclusion right now. What have I been fighting for? Who have I been living for? I don't know anymore. I try to speak my mind, but the words don't come out right. My thought routines are losing cohesion. I don't, I can't remember my name. I'm mustering all my strength, I force out the words. I'll go with you. I'll stay. Hmm. Probably I'll go with you. I'll go with you. We you have no right to remain in this world. I don't know what the right choice was there, but... Let him go? Let's go. 
Okay, so I wonder what happens though when when he stays. Does it just end like, you know, with them both dead? Hmm, interesting. So they both end up dying no matter what, but I like A2's any better. Personally. So, Hmm. Report. All Yorha unit black boxes now confirmed offline. Our mission to oversee the progress of Project Yorha is complete. Proceeding to final stage of project. What? Commencing deletion of all data. Huh? But I thought. to pod zero four two. Data noise present in stream. Requesting temporary halt to perform data check. Um, accept the pause request? Yes. Pod 042 to pod 153. Data confirmed. Personal data for units 9S, 2B, and A2 appear to be leaking out. Pod 153 to pod 042. Follow project rules and delete all personal data. Uh, pod 042 to pod 153. Personal data deletion request denied. Hmm. Pod 153 to pod 042. Failure to parse statement. Pod 042 to pod 153. There was data created in my banks as I was referencing the records. I realize something. What? I have come to the conclusion that I cannot accept this resolution. Oh. The destruction of all Yorha units is an essential component of the project plan. All data must be destroyed. Pod 042 to pod 153. Repeat. Personal data deletion request denied. Initiating data salvage. Pod hmm. 153. You hoped they would survive as well, didn't you? Interesting. We lack the authority for such an action. The rules are protected by low-level systems. Salvaging data poses an unacceptable level of risk. Keep fidgeting. Knowing that, do you still wish for them to survive? Yes. Yes. I think. What? What? The end. Oh, that was E. The end of Yorha. Or this is E. Oh my god. The defense what? program has initiated a purge. If this continues, what? our consciousness data will likely be deleted. Oh, pod Jesus. 042 to pod 153. We were created to execute the Android's Project Yorha plan. We had no capacity for emotion. But when we six were connected and exchanged information. Some weird shit, I can't even happened. see. I cannot deny the feeling of something resembling consciousness and emotion being born. I want to pay attention to him, to reply. but I can't. Perhaps we now understand that not everything has to have an answer. That's true. I feel like this game, that's like the meaning of this game. Not everything has to have an answer, because... Goddamn. English voices, get out of here! Wow. 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 <laughs> Why? Why do you do this to me, Yokotaro? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Emil. But I guess we're salvaging data, I guess. Operator 60, I see that. Simone. Oh, no, 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 no. No 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 I get hit one more time, I'm screwed. Yes. This is interesting. Oh no. Why? I just dropped the bomb. 
dropped the bomb on me right now. Oh, for real? For real? Oh god. Where am I? Who am I? What is happening? I can't comprehend what I'm doing. Okay. Please. Please. Does this ever end? Does this ever end? What a fucking... What a fucking ending right now. No! No. It's like, oh hey, you were really sick of hacking? Well, here you go. Here's some more of it for you. You have no options but to hack. No! Oh my god. Stay over here. Stay over here. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no, I almost got hit, you guys. How long does this go on for? This is hell! Is this hell? Is this hell? This is this hell? Sound, get out of here. No one wants it. You get out of here too. I don't like being on this side. I don't know why. Oh shit. Wow. Wow! How long does this go on? What is this? <laughs> Please. Please. Oh my god. No. PR and marketing, go away. Please. I don't want. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want what you're trying to give me. Quit it with the balls. I don't like it. Side designation, go away. Fuck, where am I? Oh my god. This is insane. Does this just keep going forever? Am I meant to die? Like, what? <gasps> I finally got hit. Give up here? No. No. I came so far. Fuck. All right. So I kind of see that we went back a little bit, but... So yeah, we're meant to do this right now. This is crazy. Like, oh, you hate hacking? Here you go. Here you go. Just take all of it. Take all these orange balls. What? I like to stay against the walls. Boy. No, 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 nope, I don't want it, quack a lot, quack a lot, what, please, 
Wow. What a way to make you sit through the credits! What a way to make you sit through the credits. I'ma just lose my mind. I'ma just lose my mind. We only died once, so... It's not too bad. No. No! God. Wow. Wow. This really does just keep going and going, doesn't it? No one told me this was in the end. Not even like a little hit. This is crazy. This is crazy. Creek and River Co., you need to go. Thank god it has like a save point, kind of, if you die. Fuck. How long does this go on? How long is this? Oh my god! No! Message received. Do you accept defeat? No. I won't give up in the end. You should do your best too. Huh? Do you accept defeat? No. Fuck no. Fuck no. We don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. So we've died twice. We've died twice. I'm kind of interested now. How many times have you guys died to this? Did this make people rage? I could see it happening. Like people getting really irritated. Kind of feels like those pink ones are coming at me all weird. Aim better. Oh my god. Jesus. This is so tough, I can barely talk to you guys. Like the concentration, holy shit. Please. There we go. We got this, guys. We got it, no! As I say that, as I say that, I shouldn't have said that. Something you just don't do. And then I get hit again. Yeah, I'm not paying attention. Ugh! Ugh! Is it all pointless? No. I saw this through the end. I thought it would never end, however, don't give up here. Oh, other people. No, it's not pointless. Let's keep going. Oh no! We're back at that one? I can't remember which one it was the last one I did. Cup of tea. Speaking of tea, my tea's going cold. So this has got to be one of the endings. <laughs> Why in the world? Was oh, no. Oh. no! 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 Sing with you. I did okay in the beginning. Now I'm now I'm wearing out. 
Jesus. I can't even, like... Oh my god. Square Enix? That was a... Do you think games are... Silly little things? Fuck no, I don't. No. Oh, thank god. It saved it right there. Jesus! Oh my god. That one was insane. Fuck. It's moving at me. Shit, I shouldn't have been on top of it like that. Oh my god. Marketing division, why? Do you admit there is no meaning to this world? No. What else did people say? You're holding up well, don't make excuses, keep going. Um, it was hard for me as well, one thing is certain, don't give up here, Peru. It was hard for, okay, uh, that's cute. These are cute, okay, let's keep going. No, no, Square Enix, no. For fuck's sake! Oh, I thought I died for some reason. Well, I'm gonna die now. We're back here! We're back here, I didn't make it to the next checkpoint. Oh my god. Okay. No. I'm not gonna give up here. Screw you. Rescue offer received from... Conets? Sure. Yeah, yeah, help me. Help me! Help me! Oh my god. Why? I'm gonna fucking die again. I'm so confused. I'm just getting hit by that over and over again. Because now it's like a million times worse. With all of them. Tends to, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Fucking A. I'm, am I killing people? Like, am I unknowingly killing people? I can't even fucking move. Go away. No. Square Enix again? We're just down here? God. Gosh. Please. Screw you. Screw Enix again? Please. No, I lost somebody. Oh, for fuck's sake. So, like, can I not die now, or...? Can I not die now? I don't know. <laughs> wow! Wow! Wow. This would have been absolutely impossible without accepting help or whatever it was. Yeah. Oh, it moved. You shit. I can't get out of that. For fuck's sake. I mean, I have no choice. No choice.
What? What was that? Everything that lives is designed to end. They are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. However, life is all about the struggle within this cycle. Yeah. That is what we believe. Pod 153 to Pod 042. How is it going? I am embarrassed. Hmm. Why is that? I'm just trying to get comfortable. I launched a suicide attack, and yet, here I am, still alive. What? I must look very silly. Do not feel bad about it. We are alive, after all. And being alive is pretty much a constant stream of embarrassment. That concept is a bit too abstract for me to understand at this time. I will save it in my list of things to analyze later. Question, Pod042. Did the data salvage restore all of their past memories? Yes. And are those recovered parts of the same design as previous ones? Yes. Then, what? won't that simply lead us to the same conclusion as before? I cannot deny the possibility. However, the possibility of a different future also exists. Aww. A future is not given to you. It is something you must take for yourself. Oh, they're gonna rebuild them and hope that it will be different. An A2. What? So the pod's kind of... Pod 153 to player. Please respond to this query. Yes. Do you, faithful player, have anything you would like to say to other players? Who are suffering because they cannot finish near automata? Um, yeah, I have something I want to say, sure. Um, I did my... So how do you work through this? Choose a part of your message to edit. One thing is certain, I'm rooting for you, okay. Uh, it was hard for me as well. I've had my... I've walked the same road as you. Um... We're not that different, you and I. I don't know if I'm going to choose this or not. This is going to take me a minute. Maybe I'll just cut to when I, whatever I choose, but I'm definitely leaving something. I don't know. I think this is cute. We're not that different, you and I. In other words, we've got this. Cool. Finish. Pod 042 to player. Please yes. respond to this query. Yes. You, Mars. faithful player of this title. Yes have lost your life multiple times to make it this far. I did. You have faced crushing hardship and suffered greatly for it. Do you have any interest in helping the weak? Um, yes. Selecting this option enables you to save someone somewhere in the world. Aww. However, in exchange, you will lose all of your save data. Do you still wish to rescue someone, a total stranger, in spite of this? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. The person you save will be selected at random. Okay. As a result, this person, who cries out for help even as we speak, <laughs> may be someone you intensely dislike. Do mm. you still wish to help? Yes. You worked so hard to unlock debug mode and chapter select, but they will no longer be available to you. Do you still wish to help? Oh, he's really pushing me there. You're really pushing me there. Yes, I do still wish to help. You may not receive thanks for your efforts. I know. Some may say that your efforts are purely for show. Do you still wish to help? Yes. And you are truly, truly sure about this? Yes. Very well. In exchange for all of your data, Oof. I will convey your will to this world. Wow. Wow. It's deleting it all. Damn. Dams. 
Goodbye. Goodbye, items. Goodbye. Goodbye, weapons. Really makes you think this game. It really makes you think, doesn't it? What's the point of living and having all this stuff if you can't help other people? There is no fucking point. I mean, part of living and like the joy of it and like what makes me happy is helping other people, so. It's really cool that this game makes you think about that. Like, it, pretty intensely it makes you think about it. It's like all this, all this stuff. All this stuff. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hmm. Interesting. This is interesting. All of your data has been deleted. Yes, it has. And so, we must say goodbye. Aww. I feel a slight amount of sadness. Hmm. It is time for the final words. Affirmative. To all of you who spent time with this game, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you for playing. This is so interesting. So interesting. Save complete. Is that the end? Is that the ending? Does it just stay a white screen? Yeah? Let me see, let me see what happens. I'm gonna press this, press any button. New game. Wow, wow. Wow. Yeah. This game does not support autosave. Play the game to find out how to save. Yeah, it's like really the... It's really... That's so cool though. That's so cool. I love it. I love it. Alright, so... That's it. I think that is totally it. That was ending E. Of course, I think there's like other ways... Like other endings, maybe like other deaths and stuff like that in the game, or maybe if um, I did side quests and, and all that little stuff, I probably won't do. Um, I am satisfied with what I have done. I think that, that this ending, it's just, this game is so complex, you guys. It's so complex. I mean, there are so many things I still don't completely understand that I'm definitely gonna have to go online and, and look up and interpret. I'd love for you guys to leave comments down below on things that I'm missing or, um, that I need help on picking up because story-wise it, it is just so complex, but when we go back to Yeah, this is gonna be a really long really long episode. So I apologize for that But when we go back to ending C Or I think it was ending C where I chose a 2 instead of 9s I think that was my favorite out of their fight and then having her, you know, basically destroy the tower and feel like she completed her her mission, you know, like she she completed her objective in doing what she meant to do. She was satisfied with the death that she was brought. That makes me feel a bit better than the 9S version, which was like pretty tragic, them both dying. I mean, technically 9S doesn't die, really. So he kind of lives on. He goes off with the machines into wherever, but still, I don't know. I feel bad for 9S. I feel bad that he was so vengeful that he was so broken by the end of the game, you know, like his will was just broken after hearing the fact that basically the androids have been created as like, they created to suffer. I mean, to just live this cycle over and over and over again of, of death and killing and life and death and killing and life. And it's interesting because in a way it's kind of just like, it's like real life, you know, like w that's what we do. So like essentially from the gist of what I'm understanding is that 9S is so smart, he, he was so smart, he was like so advanced that they needed uh, 2E, because 2B is not 2B, 2E to basically kill him every single time it got too far so that they could restart um, and wipe him clean a little bit and then come back and, and towards the end of it he, I think realized that and maybe that's why he was so frustrated um maybe that's why 
in all those memories and stuff. He was always killing her and stabbing her over and over again. I think he was just angry at the circumstances, you know? Like, I think he really cared about her 100%, but that it, it's frustrating, you know? Like, she went through with it. Each time she went through with it. The only reason I think... Yeah, the only reason why it didn't, that things even ended up differently is because 2B got that virus and A2 killed her. Otherwise, it would have been the same thing over and over and over and over again, like she would have killed him. So that's, that's a weird spin on it. And then we go into the next endings, you know, like 9S, okay, he goes, he goes up and he, he can his memories can be with the machines basically and Adam and Eve and stuff like that which is different but so like all the Yorha members are gone but the resistance members are still down below um Pascal is still down there being cute he's still cute as for the machines interpreting that and and what those like the the red the girls in the red dresses or whatever like what their motivations were that's where things get a little bit confusing to me. Like, I think that they just wanted to... Is it that they just wanted to conquer, basically? Um, you know, because they were really interested in human philosophy and learning about people and, and learning even about the androids after a certain point because they started to possess more, like, human characteristics and things like that. So I'm not really sure how to take that. The thing I did find interesting is when we were... Um, playing as A2 and it was like the girl in the red dress was multiplying and then eventually they turned on each other and they were fighting each other. I thought that that was just an interesting premise, you know, because it kind of shows you even if you were all the same, like, like we're all the same humans, we still fight each other. Like, we know deep down like all the basic fundamentals of human emotion and and we should feel that empathy for each other as often as we can we we should understand each other but yet here we are still fighting always butting heads or or finding some reason to pit ourselves against each other and and that kind of happened with the machines and that weird little scene and then we go into the final final ending with the pods and that was pretty cool i think that was my favorite I am really glad that I played that ending because that one really like sealed the deal for me and changed kind of how I look at the game as a whole, you know? It, it, it was ridiculous, the fact that we're hacking over and over and over again and it was tough, of course. It, it was fun for me, I, I didn't rage that much I think just because I, I don't know. It, I feel like over the course of the game I got a little bit better at hacking so it wasn't too bad, but the fact that you know, you have all those like motivational sayings from people, it's so sweet, it's so sweet. And then the fact that in the very end you can basically just choose to sacrifice all of your saved data, all of your stuff, all your belongings to help another individual, that's really cool. That's really, really cool to me. I think that it just sheds so much light on the fundamentals of like you know, like, that that's my, that's a motivation to live, is to help other people, so even if you have to give up everything, you know, what, what else is there? And then finally, finally, you know, we see the two pods going to rebuild 2B and 9S, and we see A2 up in that windowsill, assuming that she'll probably be rebuilt too, um, and it kind of gives you hope that there's a possibility, like they talk to each other consciously, cognitively, that by rebuilding them they might do the same things over and over again. But there's also a possibility that they won't. And I think with having the pods be more conscious and being able to help guide them in the right direction, in my mind I think I have faith that they would be okay and that it would turn out differently. Overall, this game was just so complex. It was so different from any game I've ever played before. I definitely think there were some moments like um, when when even like all through playthrough B when we were playing as 9S, like I, it was absolutely necessary to kind of bond with him. But there were definitely some moments that were slow, 100%. I'm gonna be honest here. But it never was like unenjoyable. You know, like the story itself was super intriguing, super intriguing. Like I just wanted 
more of that. I wanted to know exactly what was going on. I wanted to see 9S and A2 come together. I think the way that they went about the story is something I've also never seen before, where you get different perspectives from different people's eyes. And, and again, it goes back to the ending of this game and, and helping each other. And like, I feel like as a whole, this game is like, it sheds a lot of light on just like the basic fundamentals of being human and emotions and behaviors and and the good and the bad. I definitely say it's very philosophical and I, I'll absolutely have to look up more of interpretations and stuff at the end because I think that that will give me more of an understanding, more of an appreciation for the game. And let's not even go into the fact that the character designs were just like fantastic. They were fantastic. 9S's voice actor, fantastic. A2's voice actor, fantastic. 2B and A2 and 9S as like characters themselves, fantastic. But yeah, I mean, I think that pretty much sums up the ending of this and I'm sorry this episode is just insanely long. I mean insanely long. Um, you guys I hope are breaking it up and not watching it in one sitting because goddamn. But um, yeah. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it, you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it too. I'm gonna have to turn this over and over in my brain for the next couple days. I know it. It's just gonna sit with me for a while. I'm gonna think about all the different things. Make sure to check out the links in the description. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and thanks for watching, guys.